Good morning. Look over here. I always forget. Today is Thursday, our first week of state testing. I have a few announcements, so let me get right to it. First of all, want to let you know that we have our Canes gift cards right here ready for your uh, use. Uh, we have exactly, whoa, the accessory is not supported by the iPad. There I am. Hello. The um, We have over $2,000 worth of gift cards. So when you get your four stamps, come to the front office and we are ready to give you your $10 gift card. Remember that eighth grade is the only other grade that uh, is the only grade that qualifies for two $10 gift cards. How do you get them? You get a stamp if you are on time and you get a second stamp if your iPad is fully charged. I am so, so proud to report that on the first day of testing, we had seven of you that were tardy. And on the second day, only three. So you're doing the work. I am so, so grateful to you for taking this seriously. It's not my story. I already graduated. I already have my degree. I already have my life. This is your story. And how you do on the test is going to determine what your schedule and your school experience looks like next year. So make sure you're rocking that test and make sure that your story is being told accurately. Second thing, I wanted to congratulate the eighth grade um, designer of your eighth grade shirt. Unfortunately, next year when we have these shirts much earlier, you will be off to high school, but I just think it's such a great idea. We're gonna continue it that we um, design, you design the shirt and we vote for the shirt. So what does the person who uh, designed the winning shirt get? They will get a plaque with the shirt design um, in the shadow box along with the year 2023 shirt design winner. And we will have this shirt memorialized and shared in our office wall. So when you go to high school or maybe you open up your own print shop, you can come over here to your old school SMA and take a look at what started your business. We will have um, the memory of these shirts moving forward every year. So congratulations to the winner. You should be getting your shirts eighth grade very, very soon. And remember the shirts say 2027 because eighth grade is promotion. It's a ceremony, it's a party. The real prize is in five years, 2027, when you go in with your cap and your gown and you get your high school diploma. So class of 2027. All right, dress code. Want to remind everybody that we are a school here with neutral territory. We cannot um, help and we cannot change where you live and the boundaries that exist outside of school. We know that some of you live in tough neighborhoods. We know that some of you live in neighborhoods where there is vandalism and a gang influence. And if I could change that, I would. But what I can control is what happens here at SMA. Here at SMA, we are not um, supporting any attire that looks like a, a attire and a culture of gang members. I'm just going to be really straight up with you. And so if you're not sure if your attire looks like you are in a gang, ask yourself this question. The moment I step out of SMA? Do my clothes tell the right story? Will my clothes tell somebody that I look like I am part of a street gang? If the answer is yes, don't wear it to SMA. The second thing that I know some of you are doing, some of you are sneaking your clothes in and then trying to change here at school. That is completely not allowed. And if we see that you change from the morning to the afternoon, we will be calling your parents. Please respect the school as a neutral territory and leave any culture, any connection with street gang attire outside of SMA. We are here to change the culture and to provide a safe place for everybody. Everybody deserves a safe place to learn. Everybody deserves a safe place to hang out with their friends, have some great memories. No one has the right to come in here and claim a certain territory. And finally, care. 
had a student yesterday, I believe he's in seventh grade. I won't say his name because I don't want to embarrass him. But he told me something that really hurt my feelings. And I just want to call it out. He said, what do you mean you care about me, Dr. Salas? You don't even know me. You don't care about me. And I just want to let everybody know that you don't have to know someone personally in order to have the ethic of care. Everything that we do here, everything that I do here, is because I care about you as an individual. And I'm really trying to help you have the most successful experience here in middle school. I have a personal story that is a lot like your stories. And so I know that I belong here as the principal to try to help you to know that there is so much more outside of your one mile circle that you live in. There is a whole world out there that is waiting for you to take advantage of and to have a wonderful, wonderful life when you're my age. And so when you say, I don't care, I need to let you know. Do you care about your family? Do you care about your extended family? Do you care about the earth? Do you care about animals? Do you care about the human race? And if the answer is yes, that is what I mean when I say I care about you. I don't know your personal stories unless you invite me to your quinceanera or a birthday party, which I'll say yes, by the way. I don't know your personal life, but I know enough about you to care and to want to make this school the best that it can be for you. So to that student and to others who feel like him that say, how do you care? You don't know me, how do you care about me? I care very deeply and I can tell if I'm doing the right things when I talk with you, when I see your smiles, when I see the culture and the climate of the school. PBIS morning announcements, social contract, field trips, everything that we do here is done because we care about you. So please know that I care very deeply and I don't even know if I should share this, but I think I'm, I'm going to because I'm speaking from the heart. I lose a lot of sleep thinking about the school. I stress, I wake up in the morning and I pray. I want everyone to have a great day. I want everyone to be safe. So yes, I care. As a matter of fact, I may care a little too much, but no one, no one here can ever say that I am here because I don't care. Just because I don't know you doesn't mean I don't care. That's it. Have a wonderful week. Keep learning. Keep trying. Keep your eye on the prize. And if you only know two answers out of the 10 on the test, at least you know two. Don't just sit there and guess. Tell your story. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Good morning, all. Today is Thursday, April 13, 2023. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today's fun fact is how much money is in the game of Monopoly? The answer is the bank has 15,140 in cash. The money comes in 20 orange 500 bills, 20 beige 100 bills, 30 50 bills, 50 blue 20 bills, 40 yellow 10 bills, 40 pink 5 bills, and 41 bills. The lunch menu for Tigre 5 is cheesy and green chili tamale de rio and cheesy polo parts with Italian cheese and garlic. The lunch menu for 6 to 8 is spicy chicken burger, cream bean and cheese burrito, and Chinese chicken salad with savory wheat crackers. Students, please remember that school safety is very important. If you see something, say something. Have a good day, Wolves.